became an amazing man of God. From being someone who was cruel and mean and unkind, the fruit of his life wasn't very good. The things that he was doing and showing weren't great at all. But then something happened. Jesus spoke to him, didn't he? And Paul listened. And then he was able to do some amazing things for God and tell people about Jesus and live a life that he was really pleased with and content with. Although there were some tricky things that happened, I wouldn't have liked being shipwrecked or bitten by a snake. But what, teach, what Paul teaches us is that we need to feed our spirit so we can have those fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. We can have those and that way we can lead great lives and tell other people about Jesus. But how do we grow that in our lives? What do we need to do? Just like with my plant, I need to water it. I need to make sure it's got sunlight, dig the weeds around it, take off the bad bits. Um, we need to do some things in our lives to make sure that we're growing the right fruit, that we're doing the right things. And some things we can do. One of the things that Paul did, he listened. He listened to God and he listened. He spent time listening to God's voice. And that's a bit tricky um, because sometimes we just need to be quiet and listen. Sometimes we can listen to some worship music, some Christian music, like the songs we sang today. Um, and God will speak to us that way. Sometimes God will speak to us by when we talk to other people about God and we have a conversation and you're like, oh, I've never thought about God that way. God sometimes talks to us that way. So there's lots of ways God talks to us. Another thing Paul did, and we saw it on the video, he read God's word. He read the Bible, that way around, there we go. He read the Bible so that all the words of God was go going into him. So he knew what God sounded like. And there are things that we can do. We can read stories out of the Bible or watch on YouTube some Bible stories. If you ask your parents, I'm sure they'll get some up for you. And listen to some great Christian music or quietly sit and listen to God and, and talk to him and tell him about your day and the things that you love and the things that you're worried about. And in that way, it will grow in us just like our plant grows those fruits of the Spirit will grow. You'll have more love, more joy, more peace, more patience, more goodness, more kindness, more gentleness, more faithfulness and more self-control. It's amazing, isn't it? We don't need to strive and try and do things on our own, but by listening and talking with God, he will help us do all of those things. We've got time for our memory verse song now. It's not quite a memory verse, but it'll help you learn the fruits of the Spirit. So get your mouth warmed up because it is pretty fast. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. 